in Minnesota, they've got plans for, well, more gun control laws aimed at you this year. Governor Tim Waltz on board with a uh, quote-unquote universal background check bill. Uh, the Grand Forks Herald in Grand Forks, North Dakota, however, noted that the leading Democrat in the state Senate is not on board with this uh, background check proposal. Tom Back uh, says that uh, he does support, quote, closing the gun show loophole, whatever that is. Um, but he says, where you lose me is where you tell me that I can't sell my gun to my neighbor who's lived with me my entire life. We've lived next door to each other. And you tell me he's got to go down to the county sheriff's office and get a background check before I can sell a gun to him. And I think that's where you lose most gun owners. And I think that's what's not well represented in the polling. Um, possibly, you know, we've seen when these issues have actually gone to voters, um, that the, the doesn't pass by the, you know, 90% of the, uh, uh, public like the gun control advocates claim support laws like this. So they may be thinking about something very different, but at the end of the day, uh, regardless of what uh, Senator Back thinks, uh, his position is not likely to hold sway among the gun control advocates because they're all in on quote unquote universal background checks and universal background checks means yes. Even if it's your neighbor that you've known for 20 years, you got to, Go down to the local FFL, even if the local FFL is 20 miles away, and you got to go through a background check. That that They're not going to back off of that. That's sort of a fundamental premise of their idea of, quote, unquote, universal background checks. So I, I think if Senator Back is opposed to that, then maybe he needs to start thinking about how a law like this would be enforced. Because in Washington State, for example, uh, where it's been on the books now for a few years, They've not even seen an increase in background checks that have been performed. And the local law enforcement who were opposed to that measure years ago when it was put before the voters uh, said at the time, we don't really know how we're going to enforce this. It's another one of those proposals that, you know, polls well, allows for politicians to say, look, I'm doing something. But what it actually accomplishes is putting another law in the books that is at, at best going to be unevenly enforced. Uh, and likely to be aimed at otherwise legal, lawful gun owners. Because if you're trying to catch a violent criminal with the law like this, I got news for you. They're going to be facing far more serious charges than transferring a farm without a license. So, yeah, the otherwise you know, law-abiding legal gun owners are the primary individuals who would be impacted by a law like this. Now, that might be a uh, feature, not a bug, for the gun control activists, because they are all in right now on getting as many gains as they can to try to take away you and your right to keep and bear arms.